Hi guys, welcome to Maeve TR Creations. In today's video, I'm going to be making a pirate, but there's a little bit of a twist. If you've seen my Aoife video, you know that I made the doll for my best friend Alexis. Today, she's going to be doing the voiceover. I thought it would be fun to see how someone who doesn't customize dolls views the process. This is going to be great. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome back to Maeve to Your Creations. Um, I am not Maeve, I'm Alexis, and I'm going to be doing the voiceover today. Um, so right now, um, we're taking off the face with some 100% acetone. Um, this is my favorite part of all of Maeve's videos. Also, we are using a Harley Quinn doll today, obviously, because of the legs. Um, the doll Maeve found at the thrift store. My notes here say that she sanded the legs before she airbrushed them, um, and we're just going to have to take her word for it, I guess. Um, so right now, I guess she's using the seal, um, which is Liquitex matte varnish. Um, my notes say that she uses this to avoid chipping, but also that the chipping happens anyway. <laughs> so now I guess we're gonna do some rerouting. Uh, she's got a nice blend here that she's gonna be using. There's Gilbert. He always has to make his little cameo. He's very cute. I live through pictures of Gilbert. Oh, there's his little face. <laughs> okay, so after the reroute is done, um, she uses Fabri-Tac glue to seal it, and then she puts the head back on the body. Um, so maybe now she's doing two coats of... This doesn't look like that's what this is, but... Uh, it says that she uses two coats of Mr. Super Clear before the face up, which is very toxic and you have to wear a mask. Um, but I don't think Maeve wears a mask most of the time. Oh, she's doing a body blush right now. Um, that, yeah, she like kind of like goes through the crevices and does a body blush. And now she's doing um, the face up. Oh, apparently this was attempt number three. And the watercolor pencils that she uses for this are Ardeza. Mm hmm. I always think the pins sticking out of the head of this part are a little scary. But you gotta trust the process, right? Um, and here is the jump in progress because she did some work off camera because the sealant and the pencils were below were being a little stubborn. Um, so I guess this is gouache paint, um, which is artist artist's loft from Michaels. I don't know much about that. <laughs> it's very pretty though. Now she's drawing on some little eyelashes, which I can imagine are very helpful for blinking all of the dust out of her little doll eyes.
drawing on those pupils real dark. And now she's doing a little eye shine. Also, she uses gloss varnish on the eyes, which is by Liquitex. Um, these are the shoes that this doll apparently came with, and she's just repainting them to match the doll that she's doing here. Also, fun fact, I don't know what, what the end goal of this doll is. I haven't watched this video yet, so I guess we'll, you know, and I don't. Um... Oh, she did cut off the socks of the, um, the boots, though. This little hook that she's putting on right now is, uh, made out of warbler, and it was really tricky for her to do, apparently, because she doesn't have a heat gun. Um, I have no idea what that is, but may have used a hairdryer for it, so. Oh, this is the full outfit. I am a sucker for off the shoulder shirts that's really nice Maeve um oh apparently yeah you can see there her leg paint peeled off oh we've got a little hook hand painting going on here apparently we're doing a pirate I didn't know that Some nice detail work. What are those little things called? Like the little things that, that the shoelaces go through. I know what an aglet is, but I never learned what those little eyes are called. Oh, so here, the um, the belt that she's putting on right now is faux leather. She's got a weird little finger cap on. I wonder what that's about. Oh, what's she doing here? Oh, it must be like a hot glue cap. Oh, this is the little sword that she made for the pirate. It's a it's a popsicle stick and a dowel rod. Um, this little hat that she's putting on her right now is made out of felt and leather. Oh, felt and feather. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> this is this has been me signing out. Thanks for letting me do this. Meet Grace. She's named after Grace O'Malley, who was a real pirate who lived in the 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to Alexis for doing my voiceover. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment on the video telling me what you thought. I'll see you next time!